Welcome back to a new episode of TBH. I'm your host, Jay Specialist from TheBeerHeads.com. Let's get into today's episode. We're going to be doing another McKellar beer from the Gypsy Brewer himself, Miko. It is their Belgian Sour Ale coming in at 9.3% ABV. Their one and only Funky Star. It is basically a sour ale aged in uh, Sardinus wine barrels. Sardinus wine barrels, if you don't know, they are... Uh, just wine barrels that been uh, have wine previously put into them that were infected grapes, a blend of different infected grapes uh, from France out of the Bordeaux region of sweet dessert wine. These infected grapes basically create a, a, a term they call noble rot. Let's get this into a glass and I'll let you know what I think of this one. Alright, the appearance on the Funky Star from McCaller, you're definitely getting a nice burnt orange, uh, light amber hue to this one, nice clarity in it, uh, one finger white, this real frothy, fluffy head, um, some nice little Belgian kind of lacing to this one, sticking to the glass, you definitely get a, a nice amount of alcohol legs as well, definitely nice clarity, not too effervescent, uh, nice uh, little amount of carbonation in there, but definitely looking nice. Right, the nose on the funky star. Yeah, you definitely get nice acidic yeast tart just nose in this one. You just, just definitely get some nice funky um, subtle vinegar notes. Almost like creek like qualities in here. Just ripe, just you know, red raspberries. A little bit of farmyardish, funky wet blankety horse blanket. A little bit of oakness qualities in this one. It does have that subtle vineous quality in this one. All right, the taste on the funky star. Cheers, you guys. A little bit different from the nose than on the palate. On the nose, I was getting more of acidic -y, you know, uh, funky, tart nose qualities. On the on the taste, it's way, way different. Up front, you get a subtle tart. Just a subtle tart. It, it's real subtle, and then it fades away. Um, those raspberry qualities, um, you know, darker fruit qualities. Then on the, the sides in the middle of the palate, you pick up a lot of oak tannic like qualities. And then the back, you get a nice dryness. You get a, a, a subtle amount of funkiness on this one. But a lot of definitely tannic, vinous, wine quality heatness to it. It's definitely astringent on the sides of the palate as well. A little bit of a, a, a spice from the spice quality, almost from the hop. But up front, everything you get all the flavor, and then it fades real fast, and then you start picking up wine like qualities, just heat, oak, tannic. It's definitely uh, pretty interesting, kind of nice. It smells a lot better in the nose, and then then it does taste on the palate. Final verdict on McKellar's Funky Star. I'm going to be giving this one a 16 out of a 20, making this a solid B beer. You know, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty nice. Um, definitely, you know, it does uh, do a lot for the solderness uh, wine barrel that you put in. You definitely get a lot of tannic, dry, wine, vinous, um, musty quality to it. Definitely in all, it is a pretty interesting beer. If you really want to see what the uh, barrel aging process does to it um, and, and the take on it. Um, this is supposed to be similar to McKellar's It's a Lie, but quality-wise, it's just not there with taste. Um, but nose, you can kind of get it in there. All in all, guys, definitely a nice uh, take from McKellar. Something I say, you know what? Check it out. It is pretty interesting. Till the next time, like I always say, live there and drink. I'm going to enjoy my beer. You should do the same.